Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, that's me. Where my Jesus I shall see. Yeah. Praise God. Give him a praise this morning. Give him a praise this morning. Thank God.
Huh? Everything in this word, God said. Amen. I said, I thought, I, I thought this one said, I thought this prophet said that one, or that one said that one. Listen, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's written in black and white. It doesn't matter if it's written in red. This whole book is just a God say. It doesn't matter where Jesus said it. It doesn't matter where Elisha said it. It doesn't matter where Peter said it. It doesn't matter where Paul said it. It's all a God say. Amen. Yes, it is. Huh? Yes, I, I've heard I've heard people say, well, I'll take the part written in red. You better take the part written in red. You better take the part written in black and white because it's all God's sake. Amen. You see, the Bible tells us in 2 Peter 1 and 21, it said, for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Amen. They spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. It's spirit inspired. It's in God said. Right. And when God said it was so. Yes, I said when God said it, it was so. Yes. I'm going to tell you the word of God stands sure this morning. Yes. Praise God. Somebody said, Well, God never spoke to me, then you never opened your Bible and read it. Yes. God said. Yes, it is. Men, men wrote as they were moved on by the Holy Ghost. Praise God. See, this, this is full of what God said. Mm -hmm. This is full of what God said. And you can count on it. And God said, let there be light. And it was so. Amen. And God created the heavens and earth, and it was so. Yes, sir. Right. It was so. Praise God. Praise God. We begin to look into the Word of God and we find all the things that God said. Mm -hmm. Some of the things. We miss, we miss some of the blessings of God because we, we don't realize what God said. Amen. For every situation in your life, God has said something about it. Yes, sir. For every problem that you might have, God has told you in His Word how to fix it. Yes. Right. And God said, yes. and God said, we begin to we, we ignore the things of God and the Word of God when when, when we realize that the Bible is full of the things that God said. We can begin to understand. More about the Word of God. Mm -hmm. You get to understand more about the Word of God. We overlook so many blessings and we miss so many blessings. Amen. Because we overlook what God said. Amen. What God said. Matter of fact, it was nine times in that first chapter, that, 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 that chapter, in that chapter, the verse read, and God said. And God said. I go back to the book of Acts, very, very familiar chapter, and began to read in, 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 in Acts chapter 2 and verse 14. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice and said to them, Ye men of Judea, and all ye that dwell at Jerusalem, be this known unto you in the hearts of my words. Now somebody said, Oh, that's just Peter speaking. No, this is in God saying. Right. Amen. Why? Because the word prophecy means to be inspired. It means to be inspired. Speaking by inspiration. Speaking by inspiration. Mm -hmm. On the day of Pentecost, Peter stood up and he spoke by inspiration from God because he just had enough room experience right. where he was filled with the Spirit of God. Right. Amen. And when he got up and spoke, you better mark it down and God said it. Right. And God said it. Peter standing up with the eleven lifted up his voice and said unto them, 
Ye men of Judea and all that dwell at Jerusalem, be this known unto you and hearken to my words. But these are not drunk, as ye suppose, seeing it's but the third hour of the day. But this is that which was spoken of by the prophet Joel. Somebody said, oh, it was spoken of by the prophet Joel. Joel was inspired of God. If Joel, yes, if Joel spoke it, God said. Yes, he was. God said. If God can speak, my, my, if God can speak the world into existence, and he did. Yes, right? he did. He said, let it be, and it was. When he speaks through his word and you latch on to the promise of God and his word, it's going to happen in your life. Amen. Yes, it is. Maybe I ought to say that again. When you latch on to what God said, because when God said it was so. Amen. And when you hold on to the promises of God in your life and realize God's already said it, I just got to believe it right. and trust it. And God said and it was so. Amen. Yes, sir. It was so. I mean, it's right. That means it'll happen. Mm -hmm. It means it'll happen. But he told them, this was spoke, what was which was spoken by the prophet Joel, and it shall come in the last days, saith God, and God said, and God said, Yes, sir. I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. In other words, speak by inspiration. Amen. Prophecy. You know, a lot of times we look at prophecy simply, uh, uh, simply foretelling of the future, which is part of prophecy. But prophecy is also speaking by inspiration. Mm -hmm. We're inspired by the Word of God. Yeah. Young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my head, maidens, I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. You've got some people that will tell you them days are past. Mm -hmm. That that was just for them back then. But I'm telling you, and God said it. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And if God said it, it was so. Amen. Come on. I'll show you wonders in the heaven above and the signs in the earth beneath blood and fire and vapor smoke. Sean shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before that great and terrible day of the Lord. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And God said. And God said. Yeah. And God said. Praise God. We better, we better latch on to what God said. We better, better latch on to the word of God and hold on with all our might. Because God also said he's coming back again. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Mm. Yeah. And it was so. God said, and it was so. Yes, it was. And God said, and it was so. Yes, it was. Praise God. I, well, I tell you, I feel something here this morning. Yes. 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 Praise the Lord. God's talking to somebody's heart this morning. Right. And, God, and God said, it's so. Right. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Look at Acts, third chapter. Verse 18. But those, things, look, but those things which God before has showed by the mouth of all his prophets that Christ should suffer, he has so fulfilled. So what happened? God said he was going to send a Savior. Well, it was so. Amen. God said he was to be crucified. And it was so. Amen. Huh? Amen. God said he would suffer. And it was so. God said he'd take on our iniquities. And it was so. Mm -hmm. See, it was fulfilled. Peter's, 
Say it was fulfilled. It was fulfilled. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the time, wait just a minute, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. And God said, God said the times of refreshing shall come Amen. from yes, the presence yes. of the Lord. Yes, Praise God, I'm thankful for those times of refreshing. Yes. That shall come, have come, and will come. Right. Yes. Right. Praise God. Why? Because, and God said, right? right. God said, <coughs> He shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you, whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things, which God has spoken by the mouth of all his prophets since the world began. Praise God. He spoke of this since the world began. Spoken by the mouth of his prophets. So if he spoke by the mouth of his prophets, you can't say it was just Elisha said it. You can't say it was just Daniel said it. You can't, you, you can't say it was, it was just Isaiah that said it. It was in God said it. Yes, sir. And God said it. For Moses truly said, Unto the fathers of prophets shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren like unto me. Him shall you hear in all things whatsoever he shall say unto you. And it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. And God said, and it was so. Amen. Yea, and all the prophets from Samuel and those that follow after as many as have spoken have likewise foretold of these days. And God said. Mm -hmm. And God said. It's, see, see, it's not just. You'll have people say, well, you know, I, I, I'll accept what, what's spoken and read because that's what Jesus spoke of. Amen. That's, that's what Jesus said. Mm -hmm. you know, it written and read, that's what, that's what Jesus said. You better go back and look who wrote those books. Right. Amen. Amen. Right. Jesus may have said it, but man wrote it. Right. But they, they wrote it as they were inspired by the Holy Ghost to yes, write it. That means God said it. Yes, right. sir. Right. Right. Whether it's black and white or red. Why is it so important to know what God said? Why is it so important that you and I know what God said? Look at, look at John's Gospel, the 12th chapter. John 12 and 44. Jesus cried and said, He that believeth on me believeth not on me, but on him that sent me. He that seeth me seeth him that sent me. But listen to what God said. Amen. I am come a light into the world that whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. If any man hear my words and believe not, I judge him not, for I am come not to judge the world, but to save the world. He that rejecteth me and receiveth not my words. In other words, if I don't receive what God said. Hath one that judges him. The word that I have spoken. The same shall judge him in the last day. Amen. In other words, what God said. What God said is going to judge you and I. What God said, and it was so. And it was so. It was so. What God said is so. Yes, it is. What the Word of God says is so. Yes. Mm -hmm. It doesn't change. It doesn't change. What God said, we need to understand what God Amen. said in His Word and start believing what God said in His Word. Stop making excuses. Stop saying that's not what it really said. Stop, stop, 
denying the word of God. Right. Amen. Because God said it was so. If, if, if God said repent, I guess I better repent. Yes, yes sir. If God said be baptized in your name, I guess I better be baptized in your name. Amen. And if I do that and God says you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, then I better be prepared myself to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And God said. And God said. Huh? Amen. Why? Because I said his word's gonna judge me. His word's gonna how's it gonna judge me? It's gonna judge me whether I am obedient to the word of God or not. Amen. That's how it's gonna judge me. Right. Whether I've obeyed what God said. Oh, but we let so many things hinder us. Mm. Amen. We let so many things hinder us, mainly because we want something different from what God wants. Uh -huh. mm. That's right. That's the problem. That's the problem. Yes, it is. When I want something different from what God wants, it conflicts with what God wants to do in my life. Right. Amen. Look at Luke's Gospel. Fourth chapter. Verse 1. Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost returned from Jordan led by the Spirit into the wilderness being forty days tempted of the devil and in those days he did eat nothing and when they were ended he asked with hunger. And the devil said unto him if thou be the Son of God command this stone that it be made bread. And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written. It is written. It is written. It's written. Amen. What's written? What God said? Yes, sir. Huh? Amen. What, what, what's written? What God said? Yes. It is written. That man shall not live by bread alone, but every word of God. Every word of God. Yes, sir. devil taking him up into a high mountain and showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. The devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, the glory of him for, for that is delivered unto me and to whomsoever I will give it. If thou therefore will worship me, all shall be thine. Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written. Yes, yes sir. It is written, Amen. Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him, all, him only shall I serve. <coughs> it is written. Yes, it is. It, it is written. Can I tell you, it is written and it will not change. Amen. The world would love to change the Word of God, and they've tried in so many different ways. <laughs> They've tried to change the Word of God Amen. to fit their lifestyle, to fit what they want, to make them feel better about themselves. But I'm here to tell you it is written and it will not change. Amen. Amen. Jesus said it is written. In other words, that settled it. That settled it. That settled it. God said it. That settled it. Yes, it does. God said it. That's enough. All right. Amen. Huh? Amen. Hmm. You can argue with the word of God all day long, but it won't change. That's right. When I get to the place and realize God said it, that shows it, and it's so. Amen. It is written, and it will not change. It is written. God said it. What's God saying to your life this morning? What's God saying to your life? 
See, God said, out of, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. God said, by His stripes we are healed. Yes, sir. Praise God. God said, you can have everlasting life. Amen. God said He's coming again. Mm -hmm. He said to be ready. Be ye also ready for in an hour that you think not the Son of Man coming. God said. Amen. Amen. Yes, it does. God said He's coming back again. Praise God. It's written. And it will not change. Amen. The promises in the Word of God, the Bible said there, yea and amen. I can cast it aside. I can put it off. I can cover my ears. I can bury my head in the sand. But when God said it, so right. Amen. Or I can embrace God and I can embrace His love. And I can embrace His blessings. And I can live life to the fullest in the name of Jesus because God said I could. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And God said it so. God said that there be light. Amen. And it was so. Thank God. So whatever God spoke to your life this morning, whatever direction you're heading, God, the direction you're heading in, whether it be toward God or away from God, God has already written the outcome in this book. Amen. And there's no change. There's no change. If you're, if you're not ready to meet God, He said you can be ready. Because He said you could. If you turn away from God, He tells you the consequences. And it won't change. Unless you repent. Unless you repent. What God said. And God said. Yeah, so. That's all I'm saying.